go and create a Google map uh, on these trade routes instructions. So the first thing you do, you click on my, my maps here, there, and you're going to create a new map. Right? So on this map, you're going to try and show the, the maritime trade routes of uh, the ancient maritime silk route. So it's going to be called here, um, well, actually, we're just going to call it Singapore Identity uh, and related to trade. There. And on this map, you're going to be wanting to put, firstly, all these different locations that were part, that were on the, the trade route in different parts. Right? So these are called, these here are called trading ports. So what we're going to do first is we're going to set up a uh, a number of these different ports. So we're going to call this layer here trading ports. Right. And we're going to go and look for these different ports. So the first one is Guangzhou in China. So you can just go and copy command C and you can paste it, Ooh, that's, that's the one I did earlier, into command V, Guangzhou, and it'll find it here. So it's going to be putting in one of the trade maps, trade routes. So here, you just click it and say add it to map. So you see now it's added into this trading ports layer. We then go and find the other places. Like for example, Jeddah in Saudi Arabia. So again, you put it in here, you look for it, it's gone there, you're adding it to a map. See, look, it's now there. You can keep doing this for these different places. Right. There, it'll find them each time you're adding it to the map. There. So we've got three places there already. Okay. And right, each time, add it, add it to the map again. Now there were other places, and you could actually find these yourself later on. That would be as an extension. There were other major ports that were on this. But as I said, we're just going to go and focus on these ones here. Right. Then, because you'll see, they relate to different places from what we were doing earlier. So we got this one again, okay. Uh, oh, sorry, Palam Banks, the last one here. Banda, there, Ooh, okay. Let's see, Banda Abbas, if it doesn't, Come up. I don't know why it's done that. Well, let's try again. There. Man, that was Iran. Okay. For some reason, it's gone in there. We can pull it down into the next one. So we can add it into there. Man, that was see. You'll see now. Then we can like pull out, and you will see all these different ports, right, along. There, these are the main trading ports. Now, the next thing you've got to do is you're going to be now marking uh, what you reckon to be the best sea routes that you would choose to sail. Now, remember, like this is going back to the 15th, 16th century. So, if you're going from Guangzhou to Jeddah, you've got to think here that as someone on a boat, you can't just go right the way out into the sea like you can nowadays. You've got to think here, you've got to try and keep in a bit because they didn't have any technology to tell you if storms were coming along. If a storm's coming along, you've got to be able to go into port or into, into a natural harbour pretty quickly. So you're thinking the first one, right, you're going from Guangzhou to Jeddah, right? So you've got to try and make a, a route. Now, to do routes, you've got to use this line here. So you can click a line, right, add a line. So from Guangzhou, you can think here, and if you just click each time, it'll give you a little dot. So you want to try and keep it as close to the edge, right? You can go across the Gulf of Thailand, it's enough time there, right? So you probably want to go down here, and maybe, again, up the Straits of Malacca, okay? Okay, so, oh, I haven't, so I've made, I've made an error there. Uh, okay, I've stopped. 
So if I've run like if I double clicked it, it stopped it there. Right. So I've now gotta mess it up. I'd have to go and get rid of that. Okay, and I'd have to delete it. Right, so you'd have to start all over again. Right. So here let's go and do there, there, I'm gonna do it easy this time. Right, there, 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 maybe can stop off in port there. Uh, I'm going to Jeddah. Okay. And you've got a. Ah, oh, this is a problem because now I've got these in the way. Right. So. Mm -hmm. Well, let's say if I get to Jeddah, I double click it and I call it this here uh, Guangzhou to Jeddah. You can save it. You can change the color of the line, you can change the thickness of it, okay, whatever. So that's the first line. Now I did that a bit wrong. You've got to, you should go and try and keep it so that you can see the whole line before you make it. So that should be able to go all the way there. You're then going to do, so this here, now this is in here, it's in the wrong place. You actually should have another layer, so you call a layer, right? You add that layer and you call it C roots. Right, save, and you pull this, if you then pull this, click on it, and uh, pull it down into here. Right, you've now got some other different trading routes to do. You've got to figure out from Koshin to Okio in Vietnam, and Palangbang to, to Indonesia. And you've got to change the colors to do this. Right, once you've got that all, right, you want to then pull out a little bit, and then try and get a screenshot of this, which you then add into here, and then do the questions. All right, there you go.